G'day lads, welcome back to another FIFA 16 episode. As you can see by the title and in the background, we are doing a Team of the Season Rook Player Review. As you can see, we are trying him out in the 4-2-3-1 formation and at right mid. However guys, throughout my time using him, I did mix him up and try him at different positions, so don't worry about that one. I believe he goes for around 14k, which is what I purchased for him on PlayStation guys, and around 15 on Xbox. We'll jump to his stats. Uh, 84 agility, 85 balance, 84 ball control. Definitely does not feel like that. 77 crossing, 80 long pass, and uh, I believe 82 curve. He is 24 years of age. He does play center mid normally. He is actually a silver guy. Um, his normal silver card, sorry, is actually a center mid. And I do believe they should have kept him there, guys, because um, his, his card definitely does feel like more of a center mid uh, center, feel like it feels like it belongs at a center mid position, sorry guys, rather than the right mid or at left, right mid or right wing position. However, I'll talk about that as we continue, guys. Um, so first off, he is. I'll start with his positives, guys. He has got 86 shot power, which is actually really good, and it definitely feels like that, if not better. As you can see, um, we did score one early on. I believe the first clip we did actually score a long shot, guys, and. Through my time using him, we did score a number of long shots, guys. And, uh, he's, yeah, you can definitely feel his shot power when you are using him. The ball just rockets through the air towards goals, and the goalie definitely has trouble trying to save it. So that is the first positive, guys. And, and uh, yeah, it does honestly feel like an 86 or above. Next, lads, he does have 90 stamina, which is definitely one of his best attributes. He isn't always resting on the bench. I believe I got around five or six games. On uh, games with him, guys, before I had to sub him because he was on like 80 fitness, I believe. So, yeah, and this was just doing my review, guys, and then I can get more. And yeah, so that's definitely another good feature about him. Lastly, his crossing is actually 77, but it definitely does not feel like that, lads. It feels more like an 85 when I'm using him. He did get a number of assists, assists if not. Um, he obviously he was creating a fair few chances off crossing and yeah, it feels like more of an 85 uh, 85 crossing for team of the season rule. So there are definitely some positives and reasons to get him However guys, there are a couple of negatives with this player. The first one coming as he only has 73 acceleration and 72 sprint speed. He's awfully slow guys when you are using him, you know, a lot of the times you're trying to dribble past defenders and they just catch you down, guys, and he, they just get, uh, they just muscle you off, which is another thing, he's actually, he's pretty weak, guys, it doesn't, uh, might not show and reflect that on his in-game stats, but it definitely does, uh, he definitely does feel terribly weak when you are using him, lads, which is definitely, uh, definitely another negative for him there, and it's actually really disappointing, because it is so hard to dribble, it is quite hard to dribble with this guy, but just because of his weakness, because of his pace, I would have preferred him being at the centre mid position like his normal silver card was, but EA have stuck the team of the season at right mid, which, you know, if you do like the slow build up play, um, a lot of passing, and then just someone who can cross it in at the end, this guy is definitely for you, however, if you need someone with a bit more pace like I do, um, no, but guys, yeah, he is, he's pretty slow when you are using him, and that does actually show on his, uh, does actually show in his in-game stats. Next, guys, his ball control is 84 on his in-game stats, but it definitely does not feel like that. When you're trying to use him, it feels like he's just pushing the ball too far forward, and when the defenders do come across to, um, to tackle him, guys, it just feels like they're getting the ball too easy, and he doesn't have full control of what he's doing with it. Uh, another thing about his ball control is that when you do receive the passes from other players, his first touch is quite poor. A lot of the time, he just does kick it forward way too far, and the defenders can just come across and take it off him. Uh, finally, guys, his passing, his short passing, not his long passing such as crossing, but his short passing is pretty average. Uh, you would, I would have expected more because he has actually got uh, 80, 82 passing, short passing, I do believe, for his in-game stats. However, it definitely does not feel like that. A lot of the times when you are passing with him, he does just pass it to the opposition or the pass just, just doesn't want, go where you want it to go. Um, yeah. However, guys, overall, I do give him a 6.8 out 
out of 10, which is, you know, an honest uh, an honest re- review, guys. I'm not trying to sugarcoat him, nothing like that. I'm just trying to give you guys the best review and most honest that I can give you. Um, definitely, if you're just looking to build a cheap or even just one of the best Bundesliga hybrids, I would uh, recommend going with Douglas Costa, definitely over the team of the season, Rup. Just because Douglas Costa has got more pace. He is five-star skill, unlike Rup. He was only three-star, which makes it, even more harder, guys, to dribble with him and to create chances. And, yeah, or even I would go with the Bellerin, who's only about 1 or 2k, I do believe. Um, but just to end it off, guys, team of the season, whoop, he's not too bad a play, but, you know, being giving him an honest review, I do give him 6.8 out of 10. Anyway, I hope this review helped, and I will see you all next time.